my gosh, y'all. <laughs> and welcome back to another vlog. I am Alexi Nicole and I'm living my life by design. So I'm at the gate. We're not technically delayed yet, but the aircraft that we're taking is coming in late, so we're gonna be delayed. Um, so yeah, start of a four day trip. Reserve is done. I had a fun day yesterday in DC. All right, y'all, update. It is now 321. Wanna say hi? Hey. Hi. So, 3:21 New York time. We still have like I guess an hour to go. An hour to go. I'm sleepy. Look at my bags. There's like bags under my bag. I have two sets of bags. You see that? I do see that. Usually I would say no. You look great, but <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go to yeah, Colombia yeah. and chop them off. I thought it was the VR that did all the good surgeries. That too. No, I prefer Colombia. No, I don't That's know. I'm ready to land. We were delayed about an hour, so. Low battery. Is it still? Oh, it's still yeah, recording. Yeah, it still records. I need to charge my phone. Anyways, just wanted to update y'all. Sleepy. I'm gonna go get churros tomorrow. You wanna go get churros with me? You Let's like go churros? Get churros? Yeah. Oh, you say it's so good. See, say it again. Churros. Get it. Oh no, but you already keto cheated. Then why are you trying to get some churros? I mean, because I'm already, I, I have it set in my mind that I want the churros. Oh, you mean churros like the, the, the cinnamon? Yeah. Thing? What That's do you like? I know. That's like um, the, the the like the Mexican churros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the ones that you get at the grocery store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are good. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are like chipotle salad, <laughs> walk, lots of walk. One more hour. Update y'all where we land. So, have y'all ever seen somebody say thank you with the stillest looking face? This lady getting off the plane. She goes, gracias. Like, are you angry? <laughs> All right, made it to the hotel. You know what? I'm gonna stop wearing makeup on these pink eyes and red eyes. Because, good lord, just the thought of, like, taking it all off, doing the face, just the whole routine. Ugh, so exhausting. Um, but you know what? Um, whoo, come down off those heels. So, I've been saying pink eye. I feel like I've been saying it for a while. And Fawn the other day was like, what's the pink eye? And then somebody else commented on my last video and said something about the pink eye. So maybe, oh, <laughs> maybe, I guess I should get some light. Uh, oh, maybe pink eye isn't a popular term, but basically what it is, it's like the mini to a red eye or the vice versa because you're going west coast. So you really, west, yeah, west coast. So when you're going from west to east, it's a red eye because you leave at 8, 9, 10, 11 p.m. and you get there 5, 6, 7, 8 a.m. So it's a red eye because you're supposed to be tired. Your eyes are going to be red. When you're going from east to west, you leave it 9, 10, 11, and you end up getting there, you know, 12, 1 o'clock. So it's just the pink eye because you're not getting in as late, if that makes sense. So that's what a pink eye is compared to a red eye. Just wanted to clear up any confusion. All right, y'all. So let me go... Um. Wipe this face off and go to bed. It's, uh, did I tell you what time it is? It's 2.25 a.m. What time is that on the East Coast? 5.25 a.m. Time to go to bed. Good night. Good morning. I didn't get enough sleep. Like, I went to bed at, what, like 5.30? And I woke up and it was 8.30 and I was like, wait, did my time, did my 
did my phone adjust to the right time? Like, I couldn't believe I only slept for three hours. <sighs> but I'm up. And this trip, this is the same trip that I had when we had that hotel. And guess what? I go to that hotel tonight or in the morning. We do a day sleep there. So they better have their stuff together. But anyways, this trip, all the... All the layovers are pretty short. I don't think we have anything more than 15 hours. So it makes it for a hard four day, especially when you throw a day sleep in the middle of it. But I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do today. Like, do I just wanna like go work out and just lay back in the bed? Cause we have a 7.30 van time and right now it's 9.50. Or do I wanna go get some churros? <laughs> I've been talking about these churros for weeks and I can't get them off my mind. And the other night I was literally talking about them to Fawn. I was like, churros, churros, churros. And then I was watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians and Kim walked into some churro spot and I found it. And it's like a 15 minute drive from here. So I might just Uber there and get me a churro, satisfy, my, uh, satisfy this craving I have so I can keep it moving. But anyways, y'all. I am heading to the gym. Time to get in a good active workout. I'm still loving that app. Like, oh my God, so many people in the gym. Well, it's not even so many people. The gym is just small. Anyways, talk later. Y'all, it's literally getting ridiculous. Just finished a good workout and I'm still thinking about the churros. Why am I thinking about these churros so bad? Ugh. I mean, I meal prepped, I have my keto meals, I made shrimp and salmon with some veggies, I have my chia seed pudding, I have all the things that I'm supposed to eat, and I still want them churros. <laughs> I just, see, look, chia seed pudding, homemade with my berries on top. I'm gonna go get them churros. You know, you only live one life, honey. And I really don't know when's the next time. Not that I can't get churros anywhere else, but I just have my mind on going to that one churro spot that I saw in the Kardashians. Where is, let's check my schedule. See when is the next time I will be back in LA. My thighs hurt, y'all. I did a, a really good um, glute and hamstring workout. Um, Alexia, what are you looking for? Well, a little bit of cardio, of course. Alexia, where's the schedule? Jet crew. There it is. Um, let's see. If I come back to LA this month, then maybe I'll wait. Today is October 12th. Okay, my next trip is to Vegas. Ain't no churros in Vegas. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just saying something. Um, after that, San Diego. San Diego probably got churros because they right there on the border. Like right there. After that, San Francisco. And then on the 31st, I go to LA. Do I want to wait that long though? Now nah, girl, now nah, girl, now nah, girl. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to eat my chia seed pudding and go get them churros and just make myself happy. Yeah. And then I'll do a <laughs> and then I'll do a proper keto vlog for y'all. So let me just let me just update y'all. So I've been on keto. Um, I think it's almost three months because I started when I got back from Paris. So that was like mid July. Um, and now it's October. So yeah, it's almost three months. And I haven't been doing strict keto lately. Um, to be honest, I, like the first month, month and a half, I was super strict. I mean, that's when I dropped the initial 15, 20 pounds, like, instantly. Um, and then I've been doing lazy keto. Um, so every now and then I still have, like, I've kind of incorporated some more fruits back into my diet because I love fruits, um, especially mangoes. Um, but I don't eat a lot of them. Um, I really haven't incorporated any carbs back into my diet because carbs are the devil. Um... But I just, I have a very strong sweet tooth, y'all. Um, Skittles, the Red Pack, um, Oreos, 
for whatever reasons, churros as of lately, I want them. So, I mean, and I'm still losing weight, and I've lost a whole bunch of inches, as y'all seen. My little, my little waist is kind of getting a little, I just need to, you know, work on those abs a little bit more, and the back fat. Um, but yeah, so that's why I'm just like, you know, I, I think the whole healthy eating lifestyle, like, you don't, I mean, more power to you. If you do strict keto, and you continuously do it throughout your entire lifetime, God bless you. But... I can't do that because, you know, they say you're not supposed to live to eat. No, live to eat, eat to live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they say you're not supposed to live to eat. You're supposed to eat to live, which I agree with. You know, I, I don't need to be having carbs probably every single meal of the day like I was doing in my previous lifestyle a few months ago. Um, but I do think I should be able to have a craving and satisfy that craving. That's basically what I'm trying to say. That's why we're about to go get these churros. So let me get in the shower. <laughs> oh, and for those of you that have been um, asking me to do a keto what I eat in a day video, I promise you I am going to do it. Um, and I was also thinking about doing a video of how to get your body into ketosis. So maybe for three or four days I will do strict keto and just kind of vlog that and I'll, maybe I'll make it two different videos or just tell me what y'all want to see like would you just rather see the what I eat in a day or kind of make it like a daily food vlog type of deal just tell me what you want to do um, but I'm not going to do that video until I get home to Houston my mommy just kind of updated our kitchen and it's really pretty so I kind of want that to, to be the background and the kitchen in New York is just blah it's disgusting so yeah, anyway, so that's what's going on with that. So just let me know what you want to see, and I'm going to do it. And I'm going to have it done before the end of this month. That's my promise to you all that are very interested in this whole keto lifestyle. So the nice Uber driver comes and picks me up, and he's like, oh, i got to stop and get gas. We're going a little while. And I was like, what's a while? He's like, oh, it's about 20, 23 miles away. And I was like, oh. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, Alexia, you're going really that far to get some churros, girl, for real? <laughs> but whatever. You only live once. Y'all will never believe this. I came all the way out here and they don't open until 5 p.m. Oh, look at that. Today is, what, Thursday? 5 stupid p.m. No. Well, I definitely am not staying out here until 5 p.m. I am so mad at myself for not looking at the time. Ah. Oh, now I'm hungry. So I'm just gonna find something else. I'm on Ventura Boulevard. So everybody got a whole bunch of little stores and restaurants. So I guess I'll just go find something. I guess it wasn't meant for me to have a churro. So the craving for the churro is so real. I saw that they deliver via Postmates. So maybe I'll just have them do that. I'm gonna see if I can find a Mexican restaurant and see if they have churros there for dessert first. I'm stuck on the churros, y'all. I'm just stuck. I gotta have them. So I went to the place next door and got a juice instead and I was asking the girl and she was like oh my god they have the best churros she's like you have to eat them there though like I wouldn't even order them why are they closed I'm still tempted to kind of order them later this is good though it's almond milk dates um bananas which I'm not supposed to have on keto they just said granola but I mean if I'm not gonna get my churros I might as well get this and it's still happy oh and it has cayenne pepper in there too it has a little kick it's yummy all right I'm back but I forgot to show y'all my outfit of the day earlier so actually everything is from Zara this is just a very simple look Zara earrings basic white tee denim flip-flops Zara 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 Sorry. Yay. All right, anyways, um, aren't these really cute, though? Y'all know I had a really rough summer with people stealing and losing my stuff, um, which I love earrings. Like, I don't have no hair, so earrings are, like, my, my statement. They're my hair. Um, and I had a wonderful collection of just beautiful earrings, and somebody stole them all. Um, so now I'm finally getting over that and, like, starting to purchase cute new earrings again these are clip-ons though um i don't know why zara is making all these clip-on earrings but i thought they were super cute um and then jeans are just like 
I like denim a lot. I have way too much denim, but they're just my favorite thing to wear. Anyways, today really does just feel like a wasted day because my goal was to get churros and I didn't get them. Um, and that was the longest Uber ride. Like on the way there, my Uber driver was super nice. We were chatting it up, having conversations, whatever. Um, so the ride didn't feel as long, but on the way back, it literally just took me like an hour to get back here. Yeah, so I'm going to take a nap now. It's three o'clock. Our report, our van time. I think we're taking the 7:30 van, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a nap, and I'm not putting on no makeup tonight. <laughs> All right, hi guys. So as y'all can tell, we just got to the airport. Um, it is like it's 7:50. We're um, about to work this flight to Fort Lauderdale, but guess what I did? I woke up from my nap and I was still craving churros. So I Uber Eats me some churros. <laughs> so I have them in my lunch kit. I'm so excited. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get to the gate, work this flight. Y'all know, it's Fort Lauderdale, but we're gonna put good mojo out there. Good energy, it's gonna be a good flight. Anyways guys, as y'all can tell, I'm doing my my checks, it's a red eye, so we have minimal food, just three options, which makes it really easy. Um, yeah, one of my crew members, he left his phone on the van, and that always sucks, because this four and a half hour flight to Fort Lauderdale, no phone, no entertainment, but you know, Fort Lauderdale, they like to keep us busy, so... He'll probably be all right. <laughs> He'll be all right. We'll make it through. Um, let me show y'all my churros that I've been talking about nonstop. Literally woke up like, oh, I still want a churro. So I, I just ordered some. Woo, hallelujah. All right, guys. It's time to board. Bye. to remind y'all how I feel about Fort Lauderdale. Hey, morning shift guy. Miguel wants to be on the vlog. Say hi to Miguel. Say hi to Gabriel. Say hi to Amy. <laughs> you have too much energy. It's 5.30. I can't stand Fort Lauderdale. They didn't make it any better. I'm going to stop complaining about them one day. But nope, not tonight. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. What terminal is this guy? Yeah. Terminal, what is the term? Terminal four, five, three? Santiago. What terminal is this, love? So we just made it to the hotel. It's 6 21 a.m. Elevator's making way too many noises for my liking. Um, please, please, please let this room just be just fine. Just fine. Oh, y'all, I don't think I can deal if it's. I don't, I'm just, I'm so tired. That flight wore me out. Those people, I'm like, I don't know what it is about West Coast, even San Fran to Fort Lauderdale. I did LAX to Fort Lauderdale, but Fawn is working the San Fran flight right now. We were texting and it's just like, something is in the water with those people. They're ungrateful. They're entitled. Like, they want to question you down about everything you ask, which anytime you get on the plane, flight attendants tell you the same thing. Same things over and over again. Why are you making this difficult for yourself? Because the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to end up mad. Not me. <laughs> okay. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Thank God. Okay. Bed is made. Smells nice and clean. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even realize last time that it had a little sitting area over there because I was in and out of that room so quick last time. I didn't even take a tour. Okay, let's make sure the bathroom is nice and clean. It'll do 
for the night. All right, I'm going to bed. We're taking a 5.30 shuttle in 11 hours. So I need to go to sleep. Talk to y'all later. Mm. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> it is like 3.50 p.m. I haven't got out this bed one time to go to the, the little tinkle tavern. But other than that, I've been in it since we got here. Uh, <sighs> I needed that sleep. My body feels like bricks. I don't know why after every red eye, my body just shuts down. Um, so I'm hungry, obviously. Um, I haven't really ate anything since I had the churro last night. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to decide, like, do I want to get up and go downstairs and warm up some food, or do I just want to get dressed, maybe put on some makeup, maybe, um, and then just eat and then leave, like, I don't want to do the whole two trips, I just, just get out, go eat, and, be, and go to the airport, yeah, I think I'm gonna just do that, so, let me find the energy to roll out of this bed, Take a shower, get ready for work, go downstairs, eat some food, and head to the airport. Oh, man. I just looked out the window and look at all those food trucks. What is going on? Mmm. Hello, food trucks. I'm gonna be good though and just eat what I got. I'm gonna be good. Ready? Head to toe. My skirt is getting too big, y'all. Like, look, look, look at that. This is like a frumpy grandma skirt now or something. Anyways, time to head downstairs. It's 5.10. That means I have 20 minutes to warm up some food and eat and go to work. So, let's go. All right, guys. We have made it to San Francisco. I don't know why my voice feels like it's trying to leave me. It's not like I've been screaming or anything. <laughs> um, the flight wasn't so bad. It started off a little crazy. I mean, that time of day, you know, people are wide awake, getting hungry, but it wasn't a bad call. I'll accept it. So we're about to go to the Short Stay Hotel, um, and then we leave tomorrow like 11 a.m. Almost done with the floor day. So when I was deplaning, and the next crew was getting on board. Whoever the guy was, crew member that was working the next flight, he goes, oh, your face is so pretty after a six hour flight. <laughs> and I was just, you know, I was just thinking he was being silly, but oh my gosh, like I'm not nearly as oily as I usually am. Like, I don't know what I did differently with my makeup, but um, I'm not mad at it at all. <laughs> um, and this face has been on more like what, eight hours. Okay, Alexa. Anyways, y'all, going to bed. Um, we're doing the 11.45 shuttle, 12.22 show. Um, West Coast time, so I'll probably still be up early. Talk to y'all later. Good morning. Good morning. Which way did I come from? That way. Um, first things first. <laughs> I, okay, what is the first thing y'all do when y'all wake up in the morning? I pray. Sometimes I get on my knees. Sometimes I, I lazy pray and just lay in the bed. Um, <laughs> and then I roll over. I check my phone. Check my bank account. Make sure I'm not broke. Check my credit. Make sure nothing funky is going on. And then I check all my notifications. Text messages. YouTube. So, y'all have been so vocal from the last video when I asked about should I put on a wig or not for my friend. And clearly it was just a joke. I would never just change up my hairstyle just because one person wants me to. It really don't matter how many people want me to. I ain't doing it. Um, but y'all are like screaming at me. No wigs, no wigs. And maybe like... 2% of y'all are like, a wig would be cute if you want to change it up every now and then. <laughs> so thank you for your input. But just so y'all know, I have been wearing my hair this short since 2010. Um, so it's probably not going to change. 
I first cut my hair like the weekend after prom in high school. It wasn't this short. I did like the Fantasia cut, the short and spiky and all of that stuff. Somebody's in there, so let me just talk to y'all out here. Um, the short and spiky, you know, that cute little cut. That's when I first cut my hair, like literally the weekend after prom. I kept my hair for prom, so my mom, my mom's a hairstylist and a real estate agent. Um, you know, need some hair, so she threw some weave and all that good stuff in there. But literally the next weekend, chop, chop, chop. And then throughout college, I kind of went back and forth, like with all kind of hairstyles, wigs, weaves. Well, not really wigs, but just all kind of stuff. And then as soon as it was time to graduate college, like I took graduation pictures, you know, you take your cute little graduation pictures and I had cut, it was gone, done. And it's been gone since then. Um, and my vow about my hair, y'all probably don't really care, but I just kind of want to give y'all this story of to why I will not grow my hair probably anytime soon. Um, throughout college, I noticed that depending on how my hair was, I would meet different guys. You know, guys have preferences, which they have their right to that. You know, they like long hair, they like curly hair, they like natural hair, they like short hair, you know, just whatever the case may be. Um, and I don't want to meet a guy with something that doesn't truly represent who I am. And I feel like my short hair like this, you know, just that or maybe a little bit of extra curl on top or whatever is really who represents me. Like that's my favorite hairstyle. That's how I am the most confident, you know, all of that stuff. So I would rather meet somebody that appreciates me for me like this. And then if I do decide to change things later, you know, they won't freak out. You know, or if I met somebody and I had weaved down my back and then that, you know, they really liked that and they thought that's what, you know, how I was always going to carry myself and represent myself. And then one day I decided to go like this and then they freak out. We're going to have some issues. <laughs> so that's always just kind of been my mindset. Like, I'll just keep my hair short, you know, until God finds me a husband and he can appreciate this or whatever else I decide to throw out there. So that's that. Anyways, it's time for me to go hit the gym. Um, it is 7.30 in the morning. Um, yeah, probably go work out for about 45 minutes and then go lay back down. Because I'm honestly still a little tired. This has been a hard four day. So, last day of the four day, back to JFK today. So, do y'all know that the entirety of today, when I woke up, before I went to the gym, the button night lighting up. Down. Um... Before I went to the gym, when I woke up from a nap that I overslept on, I thought I was still in Fort Lauderdale. Like, I went to sleep thinking to myself, I'll get up a little early, maybe take the earlier shuttle, go to Chili's, get me some fajitas, no beans, no rice, no tortillas. And then, when I woke up, I was like, dang, I overslept. I can't even get the, you know, whatever the food and then uh -oh. oh shit is this going up or down down uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh i need to go down um because <laughs> i'm running late anyways i did the quick face not the long face thank god i have products for both you know there's products that blend quicker than the other stuff and then for whatever reason i finally realized i was like alexia i envisioned me walking through the um airport last night and i was like wait a minute you're not even in fort lauderdale to get no chilies <laughs> uh, anyways y'all end of a long four day running late because i overslept i never do that as soon as my alarm goes off i put a foot on the ground this time i didn't do that thank god i had pre-packed my bags he was looking out for me because he knew i was gonna make a mistake Let's say hi oh. <laughs> He doesn't even have a name yet. He's a little bulldog. Oh, Aspen's gonna be so jealous. All right, guys, so that's gonna be the end of the four day. You wanna say bye to the crew? Say bye to the crew. Bye, bye. guys, take care. We're missing Gabriel. Where'd he go? Did he? Miguel? Oh, yeah. No, Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel. He, 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 <laughs> went, <laughs> home. he went home. He went home. He went home. You're Miguel. <laughs> he didn't wanna hang out with us. He didn't wanna hang out with us. Okay, no. oh well then. <laughs> So that's the end. I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, bye!